YouTube, how are you now? Back on Modern Warfare 2 DMZ. So, been playing a lot more DMZ than Warzone. I definitely prefer the more laid back nature of DMZ to Warzone. So, I mean, the emphasis definitely is on just doing the missions, uh, extracting with loot and whatever accomplishments you got. It's not as competitive, not as frustrating. Um, with the hidden skill matching, so it still can be frustrating when your teammates can't seem to do a whole lot against the better teams that you go up against, but I mean, that's why I try to avoid enemies, real enemies, as much as possible, just doing some missions, so right now I'm working on this dead drop mission where I just gotta go to the post office, or the dead drop next to the post office in, uh, in the city over here somewhere and just put some put some uh, lethals in there been trying at it for a few games but most of the time I can't even get there because I just stick with my teammates and we end up dying doing other stuff so lately I've just been ditching my team and going straight for it but we'll see if these guys stick around or not how do we get up there What happened, buddy? Don't shit. Oh, you need us to run over people. Okay, I'll run over people for you. Schwack. Half tree. Oh crap, he's already dead. That thing got blowed up quick, dude. He alive? Yeah. Money, I guess I'll take that again. Yeah, I wish you could just bring in whatever gun you wanted whenever you wanted as opposed to having the insured weapons that go on cooldown when you die. Um, but if they decide to expand on like the economy and stuff and make it actually have real stakes outside of the game, it makes sense to do it this way, but hopefully they go one way or the other. Either make it a lot more hardcore, the stakes a lot higher when you die and when you extract and stuff, or just give you the option of bringing in whatever guns you want whenever you want with no cooldowns and that kind of stuff like plunder. I don't think they're going to be bringing plunder back. Uh, this seems to be like the replacement for it, but it's a little more difficult to just level up your guns when the guns in this game that drop from the enemies are pretty specific to like the AK platform. You got RPKs and cast offs and that kind of stuff. You don't see too much of the other guns. So if you have to bring them in with your insured slot and you end up dying. You gotta wait two hours before you can start leveling it up again. I mean, you can bring in other guns, or just use what other guns to like extract money and valuables to speed up that cooldown. But I mean, still, you gotta play the game to be able to get your gun back to be able to level up the gun you want to level up. So I mean, Ultra One, you can locate let's... cash reward contracts on your <clears throat> Would prefer just to be able to bring in whatever guns I want. Where was that going? Keeps removing my ping. Ultra One what? activity is increasing near your location. Stay alert. Oh, I'm going. Oh, these guys just appeared out of nowhere. What the heck? Supposed to be trying to save these lethals for the dead drop, but okay, okay. So that's always wonderful. The bots never miss a shot, and then they just appear out of nowhere. Apparently, when you walk up onto a spot, and they just all appear out of nowhere. So that's cool. So now the gun goes back on cooldown. So that means I'm not gonna play it for another two hours. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating. 
Obviously, the AI have to be somewhat challenging, otherwise the game could get pretty boring if you're not running into real players and stuff, but at the same time, they can see you through walls and through cover and all kinds of stuff, and they just shoot you, especially if you're in, engaging with real players as well. It can be pretty annoying, so... And then these guys just appeared out of nowhere as well, so that's annoying. Hey, thanks, teammate. Appreciate you. So definitely a lot of room for improvement in the game. Uh, the game definitely wasn't ready to be released in the state it's in, but what can you do? That's what people, these developers do these days. They don't care about the quality of the game. They just care about getting their money in the time frame that they need to get it in, you know? They gotta release it to make their money by whatever quarter reporting they gotta get it done by, so it's unfortunate, but that's the way the industry has been lately, so... I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless players stop buying games that are in this state, you know? If they start losing money, it starts costing them money, then they'll change, but as long as they keep making money, it'll never change. It will never change. I'm sure it'll only keep getting worse. See how much they can get away with, and then when they need to change it, they will. I can't even see these enemies. But they can see me through smoke, through cover, through everything, dude. Oh, there's a guy right there. Is that a real guy? Nope. Where was you going? Where was you going, buddy? Five hundo, sure, 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 smoke, nope. Ten dollar old watch, I don't want that. Okay, so I'll have to use my box to get more lethals when I actually, if I can actually get that dead drop. this? Good grief, dude. Just one steady stream did like a hundred damage, man. You need to calm down there, aimbots. I thought I just heard somebody behind me, but I don't know. He's shooting without even looking at me. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, where'd he go? Ultra one, we're seeing increased activity in the area. Stay sharp. I don't know why you don't just pick up the ammo, man. Oh, that's not good. I need to get out of here before I get knocked by these overwhelming number of enemies here. One, one. Secure those supplies. Oh, hey, I'll take that. Oh shoot! I literally one tap, I'm almost dead, dude. It's kinda nuts, man. Alright, I need to remark that position because I keep removing my ping for some reason. Uh, where was it? Right there. Making progress, fellers. Gotta go through this stupid radiation. I don't have a gas mask, so we're gonna go around it.
M is still alive, huh? I guess everybody's gotten the M13. That looked like a person, but it was not. Oh, what? He like double jumped. Oh no, I think they ran into a real players. Where are you guys? Uh, how close am I? I might come back to these guys after I do my drop. I need to get my three in and then I'll come back for use. They might just quit though. Before I get the chance to come back, we'll see. We will see. So they probably think I'm just gonna go do what I'm gonna do and not coming back. But I will come back, fellers, if I don't die first. Oh, yep, they did die from real players. Wonderful. Wonderful. Ah, they left, so, okay. Like clockwork, man. Wait, what? Secure those objectives into a dead drop for mission progress. Get it done. Wait, did I lose one? What happened here? Hey, I'll take that. Put that in there too, man. What else we got here? Wait. Why is he? Let's put them in there. Okay then, I guess I should probably just leave then, huh? Did my thingy. Go again. Yeah, this is generally how the game tends to go, you know. Teammates die, they quit. Or if I die, they never come for me. And just go do their own thing, so I've just started doing my own thing too. Just trying to get the missions done, so I mean no point in dying together. Usually the way it goes, unless I kill pretty much the entire enemy team, we lose, so... Teammates don't usually help out too much. So I don't know if they were able to kill anybody in that engagement or not. All I saw was them die, so... I didn't see anything in the kill feed about them killing anybody, so... Wouldn't doubt it if they didn't accomplish anything. Definitely need to do something about the keys too. They all take up one space and you have like nowhere to store them really. You only have a container for 20 of them in your HQ. And there's how many keys? Like 70 something I think? If not more than that. So I mean there's really no point in looting them unless you need them for like a specific mission or something. <clears throat> so I mean... The groundwork is there for some type of out economy outside of the game, but currently it does not exist, so we'll see what they do. With what they've got so far, if they do anything, they may not. Who knows? I guess it really depends on the success of this game, how many people play it. <clears throat> Whether they commit any more resources to it or not, you know? It's generally the way things go. They put out product half finished and see if it generates enough interest to actually invest any real 
amount of effort into it, so. Give me all your money, son. Probably better to have an SMG. Uh oh. These guys going for their. Yep, they're going for the exit token. Oh, crap, dude. Well, I was gonna go straight for these guys, but. Looks like I'm gonna die to bots. Oh, my goodness. And I got shot from the other side, too. Alright. Cool. So, was well, going to challenge a team, but then there's a bunch of bots there, so what can you do? Maybe I can crawl into the helicopter unnoticed. Where are they shooting at? <clears throat> so, yeah kind of the same thing with invasion where bots are more of just a distraction and they they either need to commit to all bots and no real players or just real players because it is very frustrating when you're having to deal with bots and real players at the same time you're trying to focus on the real players and then you get murked by bots or the bots give away your position and then get murked by real players and they just don't really know how to handle bots correctly. And they don't obviously don't know how to program the AI either to be any type of realistic or anything. It's just aimbot, see through walls. They know exactly where you are all the time. There's no having a gain line of sight or anything like that. It's just they know exactly where you are and then they just all shoot you. So it's never been Call of Duty strength with AI. Their AI has always been awful. But yeah, that's how a typical game goes in. DMZ, so. Can be fun when things go your way, but things don't really go your way very often, especially with hidden skill matching and all that, so now I gotta wait two hours again for my gun, so I'm just gonna turn off the game. So I don't really care to play with whatever guns I have. So, and I don't care to go in and find other guns either, so. Hopefully they commit to one or the other, just either let us use whatever guns we want whenever we want or actually build out the economy and make something of it. So right now you're just kind of sitting in the middle not committing to anything and it's a whole bunch of nothing, you know? So it could be something, but right now it's a whole bunch of nothing. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.